Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Vancor. Today's video is going to be around personal values. So if you are new here, the Vancor is a community that is built specifically for men who are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. We cover three different topics here at the Main Core, that is masculinity, health, and relationships. Please do subscribe to the channel to help us build better men for the future, and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Again, as I mentioned at the top of the video, today is going to be around personal values. And um, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you've heard me mention an author named Mark Manson, uh, the author of uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, and most recently, the, uh, the author of Everything's Fucked, a book about hope. Now, Mark has three books. Those were two of the most recent, most famous ones. Um, he did have one before that called Models. Uh, he was a successful blogger in late 2007, late 2008, um, who wrote a book of around, you know, the, um, you know, his, his, his awareness and his, um, you know, sort of understanding, his evolved understanding of the importance of being more vulnerable and more transparent and how that translates into relationships. He was big in the, uh, you know, pickup game and found that um, while those were all good for short-term success, when he, um, you know, was not himself, when he was, you know, putting all those things into practice, he found that um, those things did not have a, a long-standing, uh, any long-term effect on the relationships that he had. And by virtue of that, he felt um, unfulfilled. But each one of those books models um, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, and most recently, uh, Everything's Fucked, a book about hope, uh, every th all three of his books, they're all, they're all source and the common denominator that runs uh, and threads through each one of the three are all built on personal values. And, you know, I, I think that while personal values are not something, they're not tangible, they're not things that you can hang on to, they're not objects, they are the things that are, are most organic, they're, they're the most fundamental to each one of us. We all have our own different personal values. We all have our own personal uh, paradigms and views on life. You know, they're, they're developed at a young age. And whether consciously or unconsciously, you know, whether we're aware of it or we're not, we're always moving in a direction or we're always making decisions based on our own personal values. And I, you know, as I've gotten a little bit older, I've, I've understood and reflected upon my own relationships um, you know, the, the people I brought in and out of my life and, um, the jobs that I've taken, the, you know, the women I've dated, the friends that I've had, um, as I look back and I reflect, it's very obvious to me now, uh, that I've understood and, and learned more about personal values that, you know, whether they worked out or whether they did not work out, uh, was all core there was a correlation in them being either aligned or disaligned with my personal values. So now again, they could be different for everybody, but um, you know, these are all things that are innate and they were uh, developed as, uh, as we were kids. So, um, you know, for me, it, it, it was about, um, you know, I, I value loyalty. I value trust and I value honesty and I value uh, transparency. I value um, authenticity. So, um, you know, those are all things that are very important to me. And as I look back on the friends, relationships, careers, um, you know, as I look back in, in most areas of my life, um, if the things that, that I once had or that I once came in contact with or I was once involved with, if, if I'm no longer involved with them or connected to them or um, if they're no longer in my life, it's because those things were not aligned with honesty, trust, authenticity, and, um, and, and that real openness. So uh, it, it makes sense why, uh, you know, those things didn't work out and why, um, you know, they're no longer in my life because they're incongruent with my values. All the things that, you know, I've searched out for and, and, and really wanted that were aligned with my values, be it, you know, friendships, pers um, uh, relationships, if that's careers, um, jobs, um, you know, results in the gym or whatever it may be financially. Um, they were all things that were, that, you know, that were, or that are aligned. And I say are because they're, they're currently in my life. Um, 
so it, I, I, you know, it's, it's tough to really know exactly where you're going or, and it's, it, it's tough to know if you're moving in the right direction without a good understanding of what's core to you, which is your personal values. Now that could be, you know, maybe it's, it's financials for you, or maybe it's, um, respect, maybe it's, um, leadership, maybe it's being, um, you know, strong, uh, mentally strong, physically strong. Maybe it's being, um, you know, a mentor, a coach, maybe it's being, um, uh, you know, a leader of your community or a leader of a community, a group. Maybe it's, um, you know, being a good husband. It, it, it can vary. Um, everybody's values are all, um, all different and that's what makes us unique. But it's also very important for us to understand that um, if, we, if we're picking things that are incongruent and we have that gut feeling, we know, we know when we're moving in a direction and or when we are, we are trying to make something fit or if we're trying to um, maybe bend ourselves into a pretzel or um, mesh with things that are, that are incongruent on our, with our values. We have that gut feeling. Um, often we just don't trust it. Uh, when I look back personally on the things that you know were incongruent with my values, I did have a sense of like you know I don't know that this is right. I had that gut feeling, and, and of course I went against it. Um, I did absolutely learn lessons, so I wouldn't change them. Um, but more important was the fact that I had a gut feeling there was something internal or intrinsic to me that was telling me, hey, this is not what you find valuable. This is in um, this does not jive. This is, this is bad juju, uh, if you will, uh, for you, because it is not congruent with what you believe in, um, what you hold highest, what is your, um, you know, highest, most ideal self or the things, goals, uh, situations. So, um, you know, it, it's really important though. It may be hard and tempting. Uh, it's very important that we understand one, what our values are. Uh, what's important to us? Why, um, why we choose the things that we do? Where do we get those values? Why do we value them? Um, and if you look hard enough, you can find out what they are. Um, they can change. It doesn't mean that you know. The, I said that they they're developed when when we're when we're young. I do believe that. Um, but you know, our goals and and our values they can change. They can evolve over time. Um, so they're not um, a, like you know like you get for three or four, then that's it. Um, they can change um, depending on, you know, what happened to you in life and, and some, um, the things that you experience, the things that you go through, the people, the circumstances that come in and out of your life. So they can change, but I think that if we have a good understanding of, of what uh, those personal values are and we work from them, uh, not around them or we work away from them, I think we're much more inclined to find the people, the circumstances, the jobs, um, you know, the, the careers, the friends, um, and just most areas of our life are, are more, uh, are more aligned. We, we feel like we're in the right place. Um, the counselor that I had uh, been meeting with, I mentioned in, in two videos ago, or maybe the last video, um, about the importance of mentors and, you know, that I was going to start working with one. And, you know, one of the things that he had pointed out to me is um, it's, it's a psychological uh, triangle, if you will. And I don't remember the psychologist's name, um, but the three points of the triangle were uh, the perceived self, the actual self, and the ideal self, um, where the um, ideal would be at the top, right? So um, I'll explain what each of these are. Ideal would be at the top, so think of that as the top of the triangle. And then perceived and actual are at the bottom, so they form the base of it, right? So um, the, whole, the whole idea behind um, actual, uh, perceived, and uh, ideal was that they need to be uh, as closely aligned as possible. So uh, the ideal self is um, who, who, we, who we want to be, um, what we hold dearest, uh, what we have, the images that we have in our head, who we're inspired to be, who we think we could be in, in um, uh, maybe 10 to 25 years, kind of that, that longer term who we're working for, who like the best version of ourselves, right? 
Um, it's probably the thing that's always out there, the thing that we're always striving for. That's probably why it's on the top of the triangle. So that's the ideal self. And I think that that's probably easy to remember just because ideal, it's the most ideal version of you, right? Um, then perceived is like um, how, how your friends perceive you, how you perceive yourself. And um, so it's, this is all about perception, right? Um, and probably too often people get too wrapped up in this. How do people view me? They care too much about this. Um, and then they let it affect how they uh, perceive themselves, which has a negative uh, impact. And then there's the actual, which is, that's like the real results. So you probably couldn't even answer this yourself. This is probably what somebody who knows you really, really, really well would be able to answer for you. So that is the actual, like who is the actual guy? Um, who is the actual person? Um, who is the, um, the real day-to-day -day, uh, person or the real day-to-day uh, -day man? So all of those three, Again, the actual, the perceived, and then the ideal. If all the, if all three of those things are, are are pretty well aligned, then you know, people tend to feel like they're they're moving in the right direction, that they're in the right place, they're in the right right relationships, they're doing what they're supposed to, and a lot of the things that they're um, that they have in life or that they've um, brought into their life, whatever it may be, they're all aligned because how they actually are, how they think they are and how they want to be they're they're all in alignment so there's no like disillusionment um and there's a there's a sense of congruence there um, things are working in unison now when they're not in unison you can you can imagine that things start to go haywire so for example if who i really am who i actually am or who would somebody would report or um would tell me about myself or somebody that I really know. If, if who that is is in stark contrast to either who I think I am and how my friends perceive me or my peers, um, that's, that's one thing. I mean, that's already troublesome. But if that is also very disillusioned and very disconnected from, from the ideal self, if who I actually am and who I'm trying to become really don't even have a chance, they're not even, they're not even aligned like at all, um, there's, there's, there's a sense of like, okay, who am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? What am I doing all this for? Because who I actually am is not who I think I am and it's not where I think I'm going. So we do have a real uh, a compass for that uh, psychologically. So when those things are out of sequence, you know, people feel like their life is in chaos. Uh, that they're not moving in the right direction, that they don't have the things that they want, uh, they're not fulfilled, they're not moving in the right direction. And I say all that, the actual perceived and ideal self, because I do believe that it's all about the values that we have. If who we are striving to be and who we want to be, these are all the values that we have and, and this is our most idyllic self, this is our most idyllic situation, is different than uh, how our friends perceive us. So if I believe in those three things, you know, uh, loyalty, res uh, respect, um, honesty, trust, or three or four things. If I really, if I, I, if those are like my ideal qualities and then how I perceive myself or how others perceive me are either like one or like none of those things, well, that's, that's trouble because how you perceive yourself is not different or is different than, than your ideal self. So you're already in, in incongruence. Well, if then in addition, the actual self, what somebody else would say, um, what somebody else would report about, about you, the actual you is also in disalignment with the ideal self. It, it's conceivable to understand why, you know, you would feel unfulfilled or why, um, you know, you, you kind of feel like you're treading in water like Groundhog's Day, right? So um, I really do believe it has everything to do with values. You know, those are all, th those three or four things that I mentioned at the top, if who I perceive myself or who, who my friends perceive me and what they would actually say and, and report on me um, are all different, well then my values are not in alignment. And um, it's conceivable to understand why 
uh, I would feel like I'm not moving in the right direction. Why the, the, the friends relationship circumstances um, or my health or whatever it may be, my finances are, are not in alignment. They're not in the right place. They're, they're, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of swimming, um, you know, aimlessly or I'm, I'm moving aimlessly. I'm drifting in life is because one or, or two of those three areas is disaligned with my ideal self, right? Um, it's, it's tough because they're not tangible things. Personal values are not things that we can actually grab onto. Neither is the you know, actual perceived and ideal. But understanding what our values are, what makes us us, why, why we value the things that, that we do um, in people, in circumstances, in jobs, in, in whatever area of your life. Um, if we understand those things um, and accept them, then it's much easier to allow us to move in that direction, whether that's consciously or subconsciously, because um, our brain is always seeking them out, whether we're, we're aware of it or not. Um, you know, this is innate to us. This is what's most important. It's, it's, it's core to who we are. So um, it's, it's, it's just understand that, or it's just important that we understand what our personal value is. It's really what makes us who we are. It's our, it's our internal makeup. And, you know, whether we're aware of it or not, we're picking things um, that are, and we're, we're trying to move in that direction uh, of aligning with our personal values. And if things come up or if situations come up and um, we're trying to fit um, our, uh, our square body into a round hole uh, to make things work, um, we, we have a gut feeling that says, okay, this isn't really... This probably, I shouldn't go down this path, yet we do it anyway. We're, we're really turning our back on our own personal values, so we're, we're, we're turning our back on ourselves, and that is a very dangerous place to be. I'm guilty of it. I know every one of us out there have, have done it. It's, it's tough to do, um, but you know it, it really starts with understanding. So um, I challenge you to, to find out what your personal values are, um, get clear on what they are, and, and see how they've, you know, either shown up or how they've um, made themselves available or uh, whatever in your own life and see how the things that you've drifted apart from or the things that um, maybe are no longer in your life, try to see if those things are either in alignment or, or disalignment with what your personal values are. If your experience is like mine, you'll find that um, the things that are not in your life, as I mentioned, um, are in um, uh, are disconnected to to your personal values. So, um, but I challenge you to find out what they are and to to you know take inventory on, on and seeing how um, they've shown up and um, how they've affected your life. I would love to hear the comments and um, your thoughts on on what you guys think, what your personal values are. If you want to list them, that's awesome. Um, don't feel like you need to, but I always love hearing from you guys, sharing your feedback. Uh, please do let me know if uh, there's a topic that you want me to cover. Uh, in a future video. Uh, again, I always love to, to hear from you guys, but uh, do appreciate if you'd share the video and the channel with anybody that you think would either value greatly from our content or um, be a good contributor here at the main core. We are building community and I would like to ask for your help in doing so. So thank you again, fellas, for being with me on today's video on personal values. I wish you the very best in your uh, few endeavors. I will uh, see you on the next video. Cheers.